Hello everybody, um, welcome back to my channel. This week I'm gonna show you guys what I have been loving in May and showing you guys my favorites. AKA this is a May favorite. Yay! I love watching May favorites uh, from other YouTubers. So I I was guessing like if I love watching them, I should love filming them. So I gonna gonna categorize every favorite. So there will be a skincare favorite, a hair favorite, a beauty favorite, a um, fashion favorite, and random favorites. So I hope you guys will like this. And yeah. So my skincare favorites of the month is actually. The whole range of the tea tree um, line of the body shop. I have been using this line since I think March. I got, end of March. I got this from my friend. My actually my um, married on cousin, and she was saying because i have really bad acne prone skin my skin really calmed down and i really think it's because of this um so first i'm gonna talk about the, the tea tree foaming cleanser this is actually so cool um if you like okay should i do it well why not a bit if you like if you can see it it's foam that comes out it's not a gel it's foam and love how it feels on the skin it like cleanse away all the makeup and dirt of the skin. After using the foaming cleanser, I use the tea tree skin clearing toner. You have to really shake it up because if you, I don't know if you can see it, but in the, uh, at the bottom you have like this really weird residue, but you have to really shake it up to get the residue. After that, or I use the uh, skin skincare lotion or I use night lotion depending if it's day or night clearing lotion so for the day it's really lightweight don't really have, can say much about them because my skin really loves them and it it's clearing up so apparently it works for dealing with acne I will totally recommend this line for you guys my first makeup favorite from this month is the L'Oreal Paris Blur Cream. It looks like this in a beautiful, okay, you can't really see it because of lighting, but a beautiful, um, how do you call this again? Purple <laughs> packaging. It's so amazing on the skin. And I also always use this on makeup and it's so good. And I also think this is like a bit of smoothening for your skin. Because I have really much acne and really dry spots so this will smooth them out my second makeup favorite this one is also from L'Oreal Paris it's a L'Oreal Paris infallible matte 24 hours and I am color 11 so vanilla it looks like this this is so good seriously you guys if you have oily skin you will love this. you will adore this this will be the best foundation you you ever tried it's firstly it's high coverage but it doesn't give your face a cake look secondly the texture is just really smooth and if you blend it out really good it's amazing and it has shine control like what else do you want in a foundation i know if this is good for, for people with dry skin i i don't know you have to look up um, other reviews because my skin is pretty oily but on my skin this is amazing the industry long wear cushion technology if you guys know the cu cushion technology it looks like this it has a um, beauty cushion and then it has a sponge and in this sponge um, this is soaked in foundation like this. If you can see it. Um, actually, um, all the foundation is all built up in um, here. But this is so amazing. Um, I 
know this brand from a lot of Korean um, makeup, how you say that, channels? They are not really makeup blues because it's really high produced, amazing cameras, and really well scripted. But I literally love this, and my skin loves this. It's lightweight. The color is perfect. I use 23. It's like the dark shade, but you no. Know, Korean people are really white. Um, and this has an SPF of 50. But I have noticed when I wear this, um, this foundation or this almost every day, when I wear, when I have flash photography or I'm taking a selfie, you don't see like the white cast. What I love, so this is also camera proof friendly. Um, but yeah, I just love this, and I can't wait to try more of these cushion technology foundations. So reviews coming up. And if you guys still remember the haul, the Parma haul that I did, I also um, splurged out to the Anastasia Deep Brow Pomade. And literally, I, I love this. I totally get the hype of this product. I'm wearing it on my brows right now and every day when I wear like no makeup. I also have used this, I believe, in my last video in my makeup, the ballet uh, makeup look. So if you want to see it in action, you know, watch the last video. This is so amazing. It's long lasting. The pigment is amazing. You first have to like a bit play with it and look how, um, you know, you have to find out how to use this product but it's almost like a gel eyeliner and I just holy grail brow product to get your eyebrows on point the first thing is a shampoo and conditioner actually from the Dove line Advantage Oxygen Hydration this is for really like um, hair that does not have any volume to it or is really um, smooth and thin. I really like this line and it's amazing. I actually, I don't know who it was, I believe Zoella was using this and she really was recommending it in one of the videos. So yeah, it's the Advanced Hair Series and I just really like this. And then also from Dove, a hair tr uh, treatment. This is for damaged uh, split ends and actually I used it today on my hair um, believe it or not this is fourth day old hair so normally in fourth day old hair my, uh, my ends were, are really dry and really splittish but after using this one it really feels uh, it actually feels really smooth and just like second day old, old hair the first one is this jumpsuit. Let me unfold this. This is how it looks like. Oh my god, you can't really see it. I have bought it a few weeks ago. It's a black um, jumpsuit. It's from H&M. It's oh, three quarter sleeves and it is like short. So I don't know if this is a play suit or oh no. I'm just gonna say this is a romper, but I literally love this. Um, I'm going to post an Instagram photo or uh, an Instagram video wearing this place. I, I literally adore this. I have two sunglasses. First one are these ones. I've worn these. These ones are from Primark. I have bought them quite a long time ago, but they look so high quality. Literally, you guys. They don't look like Primark, no sunglasses at all. You know, the gold chain right here and the gold here and the donut things. I just love this I my sunglasses. And then I have bought these sunglasses a few days um, no two weeks ago I believe. And it's these ones. These are the Gucci sunglasses. I know what what they called i'm gonna leave a link down below I, i'm actually gonna leave a link to all these products i'm mentioning down below but they are so cool they are like really 
I know really Hollywood glam and these are the sunglasses that were really cool a few years ago but I still like these ones um, but yeah and I like the rim of it I don't know if you can see it, but it has like the, um, the Gucci um, name plaid and then like the Gucci uh, print on the side. I love this. So let's move on to the last section of this video and the favorites. And that is the random favorites. If you have seen Parma Hall, aka Watch It, wink wink, um, you have seen this candle. I love this candle. The scent is amazing. It's so sweet and girly and I just love the scent. It says um, it's red berry and jasmine and I love jasmine. I love, I love, I love them. And actually, if you can see, I haven't burned it so much. But it's so funny when I just leave it open like this on my bedside table. I'm in bed. I can smell the candle even if it's not, if it's not lit. And so amazing. I love this candle so much. If you guys know more candles with jasmine in them, please recommend them and comment them down below. Then I have two books that I have been loving in May and actually also April. The first one is from a fellow YouTuber and I bet you guys know her. I love her. She is my inspiration and I just adore her. It's Zoella and well Zoe Suck and it's Girl Online. Literally though, I have read this book through like it was easy to read. It's an easy book to read if you guys are like looking for a book, um, a summer book or a um, beach book. Check this out. It's so amazing and I've I've got I believe I've got the um, English cover. The English cover, not the American cover, and um, it's English actually. I've actually reread them. I've reread this book twice right now, and I just love it. It's so easy to read. It's amazing. I love you, Zoe. And if you are watching this video, what I probably don't think you are, I'm so proud of how you have become such a good and big youtuber with her own um well bath line and also a book and girl online 2 is coming out and i can't wait <laughs> and the other book that i have been really uh, loving and reading and i'm still not done with this book but i know i I'm, I'm loving this book is from john grisma the dilemma um, if I have read a lot of books from John Grisma. He's one of my favorite author ever and I'm also planning on reading another book from him but then in the English and I just really like him. Please check him out if you like like English literature and a bit of thriller, um, a bit more exciting books. This is totally not really a romantic book but please Check him out. And the last random favorite is this perfume. This is the Miss Dior Cherry Eau de Parfum, and I literally love this perfume. But please, first admire how beautiful the bottom the bottle is with this bow, and I just love this. This and yeah, it's I'm horrible at describing scents, so. It's really floral and <laughs> it's, it has a touch of, um, it's not too sweet, it has like a touch of those, um, the um, Dior number no. 5 in it, but I just love this scent. So if you are in Sephora or in your beauty store, please go sniff this and give it a try or ask the, ask the lady behind the counter for a sample so those were all my favorites in May if you guys like this video please thumbs up I love watching other people's May favorites or just monthly favorites 
please comment down below what your favorites were in the month of May or just you know in general um, and products that you have been loving so I can try them out please stay tuned for my next video and my next video is actually going to be the makeup look that I'm wearing on my face today <laughs> so please stay tuned for that um, subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.